Okay. So recently I picked up this Xbox. It is showing a error. It gives me a 07. Um, I saw where the possibility of recapping the DVD drive. Yeah, I also recently got done watching a uh, documentary on how they made this, and I was, I'm blown away by it. I mean, it is absolutely on a whole nother level on how this, how the Xbox actually came about. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. Um, yeah, Samsung. I mean, I was absolutely blown away by what I was listening to on how the original Xbox came to be. And, uh, wow. I just feel lucky to own one. So we'll go ahead and just pop these off. Super cool. Try and get this clock capacitor. Uh, I just don't really feel like taking all this other shit out, but we'll deal with that in a minute because everything else seems to work generally okay. Because it, it won't even open. Like, you, you hit the eject button and it doesn't even, nothing happens. Aw, no free disk. Dang it objective is to get this board out and flipped over. Yeah, probably just replace all the caps in this. We'll do these ones first. Okay, there's one. I ran upon a little post on the internet regarding resistors. Apparently, these resistors, there's little packs of resistors right here. 33 ohms over here, and then uh, oh, 80 some odd over here. I don't know. And uh, apparently they go bad. And I did a little bit of testing a little bit ago, and I did find here, maybe if I set it like this. I did find that a lot of these were completely out of spec. Either extremely high or uh, nothing. So, so I'm going to do the first one. That is extremely high for a 33 ohm resistor. Now let's go to the neighboring one. 33.7. That's fine. Let's go to the next one. 34. A little high. But I think within spec. Let's go to the next one. Nothing. Let's kind of move around on it a little bit. Yes. Nothing, absolutely nothing. So you can see where these all should be 33. Like every single one that I hit should be 33. Either it's completely over or I get nothing.
sure. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> okay. This will be good, man. That looks absolutely just nuts. But if it works, it works, right? Let's turn it on. And it goes straight into a 12. Interesting. Oh, it's actually wanting to come out now. So far, I've just kind of wiped everything down, cleaned this area, and uh, I'll hit the back side real quick, and then uh, we'll move on to the Pico situation, which I've never done before. So this should be fun. So when we looked at this last, it, the DVD drive was completely shot. All right. How do we take this off? Hmm. Oh my god, the cat's in here! How does this come off? Ooh, there we go. Right on, right on, right on. Alright, there we are. Nice and clean. And then this one, we'll just do a nice big X. There we go. Beautiful. It says, requirements. Okay, we got the Xbox. Raspberry Pi Pico. Four 100 ohm resistors. Got that. One. One N4148 diode. Got that. Drag and drop your BIOS file. Okay. All right. That would probably be suffice, I think. I don't know. I guess figure that out as we go. But there's two. As you can see up top, uh, we have Fat Explorer and uh, I'm doing a little bit of hard drive loading. Um, so, um, yeah, definitely interesting. I was not able to use the newest version, but only the latest, very first version works. I find that to be very interesting. 
Um, in the INI in this, I do have it set to uh, no DVD because I was having some issues with that. So if I, I'm going to run through some shit. So uh, let's see, load device. Mm. Yeah, enable. Why not? So I got E on there. So we'll do C. And, uh, I am on a trial. So this is everything in the C folder. What that, right? Okay. I'll just leave everything as is. Did that. Um, then we'll come back in. Um, unmount. Load device. I'm sure there's a better way of doing this. Um, and then I want to do F. We'll do F. So we'll go back here. Put those in. Let this load. We're done with that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, got that Pico Captain down pretty good. Um, I was going to use some of my double-sided tape um, and make it look all nice, but I really don't care because it's my personal. Uh, I got my 500 gig. I got the DVD out of here because it doesn't work. Got a servo iOS. Hell yeah. All right, so we got the original Xbox controller here. I pretty much have this set up. Um, I got one game on there. I got Halo. Um, I don't really know what else there is to show. Um, I might change these out for blue. Keep the green. Um, but change them out for blue, but I don't know. I like the red. I'm a red guy myself. But, uh, you know, if we go here to Halo, hit Halo. There we go. We're in it. Fuck yeah. So we got settings, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we got it all here. Fuck yeah. I like it. I like it. Yes. This. Okay. I'm just going to take a second. Because this has been a project. Just to get it to this point. It has been a project. Um, starting from one. I got this uh, console from a trade. And... Um, yeah, I, I didn't have any cables with it. I had to source out my own cable, my own AV cable. I had to source out my own controllers individually. Um, Power is not a big deal. Um, I had to change the capacitors from C19 and C20, or C17 and C20 on the PSU. Uh, what else? Um, clock capacitor remove that i had to order picos for this mod i ordered another one for a uh, gamecube that i'm going to be working on pretty soon so yes and then of course figuring out how it all translates um i believe the hard drive on the other one was screwed so i ended up having to buy this i got this from aliexpress um, the cable was from AliExpress, a couple bucks, you know, I think $5 for the whole shebang. Um, hard drive I already had. Um, and then I used a bunch of resistors and a bunch of other stuff for the drive. I got, uh, it to do something, but still was, uh, generically broken. So kind of a wasted effort on that um but ultimately i wanted it to at least at least start you know 
This way I can at least play games on it the way that it is. I don't need the DVD drive. Um, I do own Halo um, and Mech Assault, which I need to dump those so I can get them on here. But I do own those games. Um, but I am excited to play Halo because I'm a huge Halo fan. And it has been years since I've played Halo. Um, yes. So that's where we're at now. So now I have to put it back together and play some games, man. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. I was going to get um, another chip for this. But, you know, I'm thinking to myself, you know, if I get a chip for that, I get a DVD drive for this. That's, you know, let's say 10 I say 20 bucks. It's another drive. Gosh, they're going for like 40. That's on the low end, you know. So 40 second. So we're looking at 60 plus a 24 inch cable because this is not a 24. I think this is like a 16 or some shit. Um, I just bought it. It was like a dollar or something, and I just wanted to see if it would work, you know. Um. So yeah, that would be, you know, another $20 for that. So I mean, we'd be looking at $100 just for the mod chip, new drive, new cable. I mean, I'm happy the way that it is, you know. So I'm going to throw a bunch of screws in here, uh, get it back together, and uh, play the damn thing. I appreciate y'all watching. And um, subscribe for the next couple of videos I got coming up. Um, I got PS3. I got, um, actually I got a couple right here. This one's a yellow light of death. This one works, but I don't remember the condition of it. Um, yes, I got a Wii Guitar Hero controller and some other stuff. I got boxes and boxes of shit. So, um, anyway, yeah, um, I appreciate y'all watching and have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace.